Hi guys, Nozak here today again with another tutorial on mixing slash mastering slash EQing. Please bear with me today because I'm trying to do all these things within the time limit. So I just have a simple song I made. I just made right now very fast. It's not gonna sound really nice. So I just did it for the tutorial purposes. Let me go ahead and play that so you have an idea what we are doing. Now watch this peak meter. It's totally, it's totally clipping. It's always in the red. We're gonna fix that in a while, but just watch everything going on for now. So just basic kick, clap, hat, snare, some piano, some cards and a bass that I made to wobble. I already add each of these elements to a separate mixer track so just to save some time one thing i like to do is create a new mixer track here and call it all drums i'm gonna link all my drums to this mixer track right here so i can reduce their volume all together at once anytime i need to do so so what i'm gonna do is route all these drum elements to this track right here route first and the snare so I can reduce all my drums now. as you can see that is controlling my drums let's forget it for now the first thing I'm gonna do is let's begin the mixing first of all I wanna say something out clear the mixing as people, many people tend to get mixing and mastering confused. Mixing is a totally different thing from mastering. Mixing is the level where you have to adjust the volume of each of your track elements to make them sound like music. If not, you're just gonna play some noise. And while mastering is a totally different thing, it's basically increasing the volume of your track as much as possible without clipping. So. Let me begin with the mixing. First of all, I'm gonna bring the volumes of these down, leaving only the drums, the piano, the cuts, and the bass. I brought the volumes down. I'm leaving only the drums to play now. As you can hear, the kicks are too high, so I'm gonna bring them down a bit from here. Bring them around 90. Reduce the claps too, maybe to around 85. Reduce the snares around 85 too. The hats too, let them around 85 or let's say 80 for the hats. And now I'm basically I'm just doing this for the time purpose. I'm doing everything so fast, but this is something you have to take your time to do, and hopefully you come out with a very nice result. So let me go ahead and introduce each of these other melodies. Like the, I'm gonna start with the piano, then the chord, then the bass, and while watching this peak meter right here, making sure it's not clipping. I'm going to increase the, the volumes a bit. I will be increasing the volumes as I go and watching this peak meter, making sure it's not clipping. So let me go ahead and play that and begin. Around 80 will do, hopefully. Let me begin for the cuts. now let me bring down the volume of all the drums a little bit maybe to something like 95 Actually the clap and the snare are too low so I'm going to increase the volumes from here.
hopefully that will do. You have to take your time to do this, like I said. But for now, I'm gonna do it in a rush. I'm gonna add a parametric EQ to each of these elements. Let me begin with the kick. Parametric EQ2. For the kick, we want to keep the low end and bring down the highs. So, whatever I do. the clubs you need the mid and some of the high but not the lows so you're gonna bring down the lows like so bring down the highs a bit same with the snares You need you don't need the lows, you need the mids and the highs. Then for the hats you need only the highs, you don't need the mids and the lows. You are just basically trying to assign separate frequencies for each of these elements. So bring down the high the low like this, leaving only the highs to shine. the melodies let me begin with the piano you don't need the you, for the piano mostly you need the mids you don't need the lows and the highs you just need a little bit of the highs so I'm gonna same with the cuts Obviously you need the lows, you don't need the highs and some of the mids. As you can hear everything is sounding a lot clearer now. So you're gonna take your time like I said to do this, but for now, for time's sake, it's done like so. Let me go ahead and play one last time. gonna do is I'm gonna export this is the mixing I'm done with the mixing and the EQing so I'm gonna export this as a wave file make sure you set it to the highest quality possible let me export it here to my drive D let me name it tutorial you are gonna get the highest quality possible wave 512 point sync this here you want to make sure it's the highest possible just to get the quality, the good quality, before you begin your mastering, 32 bit, and you may begin. After exporting, after exporting, let me go ahead and begin a new. Come and let me save this very fast. Open a new project like so then bring down your wave file that you, um, you've exported earlier on this is it I guess drag it here let me go ahead and cut off this excess I don't need so I can Repeat it. Let me make it fall like so, and make sure you zoom in as much as you can, so you can see the wave waveforms very clearly. Let me go ahead and play back. Same thing. What you want to do is in the mastering, the first thing, the first step of the mastering is all this, all these peaks right here. You wanna cut them. You wanna limit them to some limit that they should not peak like so. All the your waveform should be as much closer to each other as possible. So the first thing I'm gonna load in here on the master track, I'm gonna load in Maximus. Make sure you set it to the default preset. Then 
I'm going to solo out, I'm going to begin with the lows, cut off the excess, then the mids, then the highs. By clicking this solo here, you're soloing out the one you click. So like now, I'm already soloed. So I, when I click the mid here, I'm soloing out the mid. So when I play back, we have the lows, sorry. As you can see, the average is somewhere around here. So I want to limit the whole waveform to the average, which is around, you're going to look here, it says around minus 11.1 dB. So I'm going to limit it to minus 11.1 dB. Go here on this line here and look for minus 11.1 dB, which is somewhere around here. Bring it down like so. Then drag down your release until these peaks up here are almost matching those down. We finish with the lows. I'm just doing this very fast, but you have to take your time to do this. Now let me go back to the mids. Look for the average, which is around minus 9.4, like it says up there. Minus 9.4, so I'm going to look for minus 9.4. down the release until it's matching the peaks down then let me go to the highs cut a little bit around minus 19.1 which is somewhere around here bring it down like so bring down the release and now let me go back to the master master you can do this also for the master but you have to do a little bit because if you do too much it's gonna rain your whole sound so look for the just try to do it at as low as as little as possible okay. use somewhere around minus 5 db to do Compression, something like compression. Now let's. The, you have to get this. It's very very important that you have this um, TLS maximizer. It's a free plugin. I don't know somewhere on the web. Just search on Google TLS maximizer, TLS maximizer. It's a free plugin and it's very very useful in such situations for increasing the volume. Now we've compressed. Next we want to increase the volume. So loading TLS maximizer, and this right here. You want to drag it, continue dragging until... Okay, let me show you something. You see, you see this right here? There is a peak coming towards the left here. That's the attenuation. You want the attenuation to be somewhere around minus 3. Maybe more, a little bit more. Maybe minus 3, minus 5-ish. But not more. Because it will begin to sound weird if you get more. So I'm going to leave it around minus three for now you might as well it has an eq so you might as well increase the mids the bass the lows anything you want to do or the tls maximizer right here so let me increase the mids and the highs a little bit as you can hear it's sounding a, um, far more clearer than before the last thing you want to load up is fruity limiter and raise the ceiling the gain, the gain here it's like the volume also you want to increase the volume to like maybe plus 2 db but you have to be listening while you're doing this then raise the ceiling here this other green this green knob here raise the ceiling until it's almost on top of the peaks so, and make sure you're watching this meter right here, making sure it's not clipping, it's not going in the red. So take it as high as possible without clipping. Now, if you watch this meter right here or this, you, you'll see that the wave is it's almost the same level. So it's all, everything is much compressed. You are taking everything to the maximum volume you can.
guess that's all for today thank you for watching noisex out thank you very very much for watching please don't forget to rate comment and subscribe see you next time hopefully with a better tutorial thanks for watching once more i'm out